Have you ever gazed at the stars? Each one a pinpoint of light placed just so. The universe in its vastness operates on a rhythm, a timing we are just beginning to grasp. There's a season for planting and a season for harvest, a time for darkness and a time for dawn. This is the essence of divine timing, a concept as old as time itself. It whispers to us that our lives too unfold on a sacred timeline, that there's a reason for the waiting, a purpose in the delay. Just as the sun rises at the appointed hour, so too do our miracles have their perfect moment of arrival. Imagine life as an intricate tapestry. From our vantage point, we see only the tangled threads, the knots and loose ends. But the Divine Weaver sees the complete picture, every thread, every color placed with intention. What appears random to us is, in fact, part of a grand design. We may question why we face certain trials or why our dreams seem distant. But just as a tapestry reveals its beauty when complete, so too will our lives make sense in divine timing. Trust that every experience, every tear, every joy is weaving a masterpiece beyond our current understanding. Patience. It's not always easy, is it? In a world of instant gratification, we crave immediate results. But some things, the most precious things, take time to blossom. Think of a tiny seed planted in the earth. It needs time, nourishment and faith to grow. Our dreams are like that. They need patience to take root, to push through the darkness and reach for the light. Faith too plays a crucial role. It's the unwavering belief in the unseen, the trust that the universe is conspiring in our favor even when we can't see it. Throughout history, stories abound of dreams realized in seemingly impossible ways. These narratives passed down through generations serve as beacons of hope, illuminating the path for those who feel lost or disheartened. They remind us that even in the darkest of times, there is a glimmer of light waiting to break through. These tales remind us that we are not alone in our waiting. In every corner of the world, People have faced trials and tribulations, yet they have found solace in the shared human experience. The collective patience and perseverance of communities have often led to remarkable outcomes. That divine timing has orchestrated miracles for others, and it can do the same for us. The universe has a way of aligning events in ways we cannot foresee, bringing about moments of serendipity and wonder. It is in these moments that we realize the power of faith and trust. Remember the story of Joseph? His journey is a profound example of resilience and faith. Sold into slavery, imprisoned unjustly, his life seemed destined for despair, yet he never lost hope. Yet through it all, he held on to faith. His unwavering belief in a higher purpose sustained him through the darkest times. And in time, he rose to become a powerful leader, his ordeal a vital part of a greater plan. His story teaches us that our struggles can lead to profound growth and unexpected opportunities. Or consider the life of Nelson Mandela. His journey is another testament to the power of patience and perseverance. Imprisoned for 27 years, he emerged to lead his nation to freedom. His story is a powerful reminder that even the longest and most arduous journeys can lead to liberation and triumph. His unwavering spirit, his patience in the face of adversity, stands as a testament to the power of divine timing. Mandela's life encourages us to remain steadfast in our convictions, no matter the obstacles we face. These stories and countless others echo through time, whispering of hope, of resilience, of the incredible things that can happen when we trust in a power greater than ourselves. They remind us that patience, faith and perseverance are timeless virtues that can guide us through any challenge. Section 5, Abraham and Sarah, a promise fulfilled in divine time. In the sacred texts, we find stories that illuminate the path of faith and divine timing. 
These stories are not just historical accounts, but are imbued with lessons that transcend time and culture, offering wisdom and guidance for our own spiritual journeys. The story of Abraham and Sarah is a potent reminder that God's timing is perfect, even when it defies human logic. Their journey is a testament to the power of unwavering faith and the belief that divine promises are always fulfilled, no matter how long it takes. Abraham and Sarah yearned for a child, a promise whispered by God himself. This promise was not just a fleeting hope, but a deep-seated assurance that they held on to, despite the passing years and the growing doubts. Yet years turned into decades and their faith was tested. They faced the harsh reality of their advancing age, the whispers of doubt, and the societal pressures that questioned their unwavering belief. They were beyond childbearing age when their son, Isaac, was finally born. This miraculous event was not just the fulfillment of a promise, but a profound demonstration of divine power and faithfulness. This story reminds us that God is not bound by time as we understand it. The divine operates on a different plane, where what seems like an eternity to us is but a fleeting moment in the grand tapestry of existence. That what seems impossible to us is but a moment for the divine. The barriers and limitations we perceive are mere illusions in the face of divine will and power. It teaches us that waiting is not a passive act, but an active process of faith, of surrender, of preparing our hearts for the miracles to come. In the waiting, we grow, we learn, and we become vessels ready to receive the blessings that are destined for us. Section 6. The Butterfly Effect. Trusting the Unseen Connections. Have you heard of the Butterfly Effect? The idea that a butterfly flapping its wings in one part of the world can, in a complex chain of events, eventually influence the weather patterns on the other side of the globe. Our lives are interconnected in ways we may never fully comprehend. Every encounter, every decision, every seemingly insignificant moment ripples outward, impacting the grand scheme of things. This is why trusting in divine timing is so crucial. We may not see the connections, the unseen hands orchestrating events in our favor, but we can have faith that they are there. Section 7. Surrender and acceptance, embracing the flow of life. Surrender. It's a word often associated with defeat, with giving up, with losing. But in the context of divine timing, it takes on a whole new meaning, a deeper, more profound significance. It's about releasing our need for control, our insistence on forcing things to happen according to our timeline, our plans. It's about accepting that the universe, with its infinite wisdom, has a plan for us, even when we don't understand it, even when it doesn't make sense. Think of a river flowing towards the ocean, its ultimate destination. It doesn't resist the bends in its course, the rocks in its path, the obstacles it encounters. It simply flows around them, adapting, adjusting, always moving forward, always finding a way. Like the river, we too can learn to embrace the flow of life, trusting that even in the midst of uncertainty, we are being guided towards our highest good, towards our true purpose. Embracing the flow of life means letting go of our fears, our doubts, our need to control every outcome. It means trusting that the universe has a plan, a path, a journey for us that is far greater than anything we could ever imagine. So, let us surrender, let us accept, and let us embrace the flow of life, knowing that we are always being guided, always being supported, always being loved. Section 8. Recognizing the signs, whispers of guidance on your path. As you journey through life, pay attention. The universe speaks to us in subtle ways, offering guidance, reassurance and confirmation that we are on the right track. These signs may come in the form of synchronicities, those meaningful coincidences that seem to defy explanation. A chance encounter? a book that falls open to the perfect page, a song that resonates deep within your soul. 
Open your heart to these whispers of guidance. They are the universe's way of nudging you in the right direction, affirming that you are exactly where you need to be in this very moment. Section 9. Your miracle awaits a symphony conducted by the divine. Imagine your life as a symphony orchestrated by the divine. Each note, each instrument, plays a crucial part in creating a masterpiece. There are moments of crescendo, of soaring melodies that take your breath away. And there are moments of quiet, of subtle harmonies that soothe your soul. But every note, whether loud or soft, joyful or melancholic, contributes to the overall beauty of the composition. Your miracle is coming. It may not arrive when you expect it or in the form you anticipate, but trust that it is being orchestrated with perfect timing, with infinite love, with your highest good in mind. Section 10. Embrace the journey. Heaven says the time is now. The journey of life is filled with twists and turns, moments of joy and times of sorrow. But through it all, remember that you are not alone. The universe conspires in your favor, guiding you, protecting you, leading you towards your destiny. Embrace the present moment. Find joy in the journey, even in the waiting. For it is in these moments when we surrender to the flow of life that we open ourselves to receive the miracles that await us. Heaven says the time is now. The time is now to trust. The time is now to have faith. The time is now to believe that your miracle is on its way. <laughs>